The false attribution fallacy occurs when someone uses a biased, uninformed, unidentified, made-up, or otherwise bad source as the basis for an argument. Now, this may look like it contradicts the ergo decido fallacy at first glance. The ergo decido fallacy occurs whenever so you assume that someone is biased because of who the organization that they're with. For the false attribution fallacy, you must first prove that they're biased somehow, and then it becomes a false attribution fallacy. So we have three examples of this. In the first one, Thrasymachus claims, The Hydra is a real creature. Adamantus, being curious, asks, Do you have evidence of this? Thrasymachus, being confident as usual, says, Of course, I read in a book that I can't remember the name of. This is a false attribution fallacy, because although Thrasymachus is saying he got it from a book, he still can't name the specific source. That He can't name the book. In our second example, Thrasymachus claims that the Earth is flat and he has proof. Adamantus, being a skeptic, wants to know where the proof is. Thrasymachus claims, a five-year-old told me he walked to the edge, so the earth must be flat if the five-year-old walked to the edge. Adamantus points out this five-year-old is probably not a reliable source, and therefore he doesn't believe that the earth is flat. And we have one more example. Thrasymachus claims the world is flat. Pythagoras finally admitted it. Adamantus points out that this is probably a false attribution fallacy because it just sounds made up. Now, it could be a fallacy in itself, but in this time, Adamantus is in the right that it's probably a claim that Thrasymachus made up.